you bumped into folk dancing, ethnic dancing. How did yes. that happen? That was one of my friends at Turner's was a <clears throat> PE teacher and she was going to Harrogate, Tennessee for a week of dancing <clears throat> and she was driving and she asked me to go with her and you, we both paid our own way, of course, but I went to that and it changed my life. They had a combination of square dancing, contra dancing, international folk dancing, and when I came, we came home, we were so th thrilled about it. I said, if I can't, I'm going to look for one, and I did find one. And that was going in 19, about 54, 55. So I joined it. And when the leader read, and every summer for my vacation, I'd go to a folk dance camp. It's fun, it's <clears throat> cheap, and you go to a, you go, go to a college where they're held. And, the first one I went to, how many classes? I said, how many classes do you take? And they said, take everything. <laughs> so I did. So that's how you got training in it, besides the sheer practicing between yeah. those camps. It was more fun. And then <clears throat> there were always more women than men. And I would dance as a man or a woman. So like Odette does. And you learn, really learn dances when you do both, both parts. Right, and your re reference to Odette is Odette Sinclair, who is more or less the director of the Louisville Dancing uh, Ethnic Society. Yeah, she, she and I, <clears throat> oh, I have a picture in there of when it started at U of L in the 70s, early 70s, and her mother was here from out of town. Her mother had taught Swiss dances. So well, no, we went to the same, same get camps. together at yes. uh, U of L. But I was already teaching dancing up in this part of town, in St. Matthew's. So you'd gotten good enough to actually teach and hold your own classes. Uh, yes. Right. And what did you like to do at that time? Early on, what kind of dancing did you specialize in? I started at <coughs> Church of the Advent, and I started doing all types of dancing, <coughs> squares, contras, international, well, not ballroom dancing, I've never taught that, but the, everything we do in, in English and Irish, and Scottish, because I've had classes in all of them. And uh, the Contra became so uh, so popular that I split it into two nights. One night for the International and the other, <clears throat> other night for uh, English and, Amer and American dancing. And that was over a half century ago. Yes. <laughs> And now you're a hundred, and you're st and you're you still belong to the Louisville Ethnic Dancing Group. Uh, you're still dancing. I still dance some. And you could still teach a dance or two, couldn't you? Yes. Great. <clears throat> oh, that came later. <laughs> I've been doing folk dancing about fifty four, fifty seven years, but then I. I had a, I saw somebody, I, I took a class in Hawaiian dancing and I loved it so much that I took all I could from her and I took some in Hawaii at the Brigham Young, at the Polynesian Cultural Center <clears throat> and I had been teaching until last year I was teaching Hawaiian uh, Samoan, Tahitian, and some New Zealand Maori dances, but with my atrial fib and my shoulder, I had to stop last year. 
But we we know some of that dancing as we call it hula dancing. Am I, was it more than just hula dancing? Oh, there is so much to it in hula dancing. You have chants to tell a story, the chants of King King Kavika. Yeah, I, I noticed that when you have well, done David. Kalakawa okay. and Kavika, they don't have a D in, mm -hmm. in Hawaii, and so mm -hmm. you have a K for a D. They don't have a W, they use a V, so David becomes Kavika. <laughs> and and uh, you say that's kind of a, a storytelling in a way, they're dancing, so yeah, there's a lot of hand and uh, upper body motion, isn't there? Yes. Okay. Yes. Right. You tell a story with the hands, and every verse is different. So it is really memory work, because you have to understand what the words are saying, even <clears throat> if they're saying it in Hawaiian, and you, so you learn the meaning, and you have motions to say the sea, mm -hmm. or the clouds. Mm -hmm and the stars twinkling. One thing different about Hawaiian dancing is that you can make up, if one teacher teaches the dances one way, that's all right. Another teacher can interpret in a different way and that's all right too. That's not like our, our village dance. Right.